Okay, so we're going to be doing operations with complex numbers. And I should have filmed this a year ago, but whatever. Take some notes. Be a part of the process. And let's get into it. Math with Miss B. Math with Miss B. There's a thousand other places that you'd rather be. But you're watching Math with Miss B. Okay, so complex numbers can be written as A plus BI, right? So you have the real part, which is A, and then B, which represents the imaginary part, okay? A and B are real numbers. So if I have complex numbers and two complex numbers are equal, if the real parts are equal, and the ima then the imaginary parts are equal, right? So in this problem, I have 4x plus 10i, 4x is real, 10i is imaginary. On the other side of the equation, I have 2 minus 4y, i. So that means that 2 is real and 4y, i is imaginary. So when I'm solving a problem like this, I say 4x equals 2 and 10 equals 4y. So using that information, set real equal to real, imaginary equal to imaginary. So real equal to real, purple equals purple, 2x equals negative 8. Imaginary equals imaginary, so negative 6 equals 20y. Now you're probably asking, yo, where'd the i's go? Well, if I have an i on each side of the equation, they automatically balance each other out. So I don't need to take the i's with me because when I divide, they're going to divide out anyway. So anyway, so let's do the real part first. So focus on the purple. To get x by itself, I'm going to have to divide 2. So we're going to go ahead and divide 2 on both sides. And so I'm going to get um, x equals negative 4. So then on the other one, on the pink side, we want to get y by itself. So to get y by itself, we're going to divide by 20, divide by 20. So that's going to be negative 6 over 20 equals y. Ta-da! So those would be your answers for this problem when it says to solve for x and y. Let's do another one. So it says find the values of x and y and make each equation true. So again, we want to set real equal to real. So purple equal to purple. And then we're going to set imaginary equal to imaginary. So pink equal to pink. So purple is negative 8 equals 5x. Um, and then imaginary is pink. So that's going to be 6y equals negative square root of 6. Notice there's no i's. I don't take the i's with me because they're going to cancel out anyway, so I don't even bother to bring them to the equation. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to divide by 5 on both sides for the purple equation to get x by itself. So I'm going to get x equals negative 8 fifths. And then on the other side, we're going to get divide by 6 on both sides to get y by itself, and so that's going to give me y equals negative square root of 6 over 6, which looks yucky, but it's totally a thing. <laughs> Okay, so then we're going to do the complex conjugate. So this is the next part about complex numbers. So when you have complex conjugates, if I have AB plus I, to find the complex conjugate, I'm going to make it AB minus I. You use the opposite of only the imaginary part. So I use this skill when I am rationalizing numbers with complex denominators, okay? If I have an I in the bottom, I cannot, I just can't do anything. I cannot leave it like that. So I have to rationalize it, and you rationalize it by using the negative of the imaginary part. What does that mean? We will get to that. But first, let's focus on how do we find complex conjugate. If I have 8 plus 5i, the complex conjugate is 8 minus 5i. If I have 9 minus i, the complex conjugate is 9 plus i. If I have negative 8i, the complex conjugate is positive 8i. And then if I have i plus square root of 3, the complex conjugate is negative i plus the square root of 3. So the, the whole time we've been changing the second one, the second one, the second one. But remember, it's changing the imaginary one. So if I have 6i, complex conjugate is negative 6i. Only the imaginary part changes. Okay, so operations, we are going to add. 
right? So for number one, we're going to go ahead and we are going to combine like terms. So we're going to do 4 plus negative 6 because real goes with real. Real recognize real. And then imaginary plus imaginary. 2i plus negative 7i. Fake recognize fake. <laughs> so I'm going to get negative 2 minus 5i. And that's my final answer. Real plus real, real recognize real, imaginary plus imaginary. So do the next one on your own. Do, 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 do. Okay, so real goes with real. Imaginary goes with imaginary. One plus negative one is going to give me what? Zero. Negative three plus three i is going to give me zero i. So zero plus zero is still going to be zero. Ta da! All right, let's talk about subtraction. We got to make sure that we distribute the negative first. That's the difference between addition and subtraction. Addition, you just go for it. Subtraction, on the other hand, you have to distribute the negative. So those signs are going to change. You see where the, the arrows are? Those signs are going to change. So we're going to be 5 minus 2i plus 2 plus 3i. Do you see how the signs changed? Negative 2 became positive 2. Negative 3i became positive 3 So real with real, imaginary with imaginary. When I combine my like terms, 5 plus 2 gives me 7. Negative 2i plus 3i gives me i. Yeah. Do the next one on your own. Okay, so first we want to distribute the negative. So positive 2 is going to change to negative 2. Positive 3 is going to change to negative 3. Then you're going to combine your like terms. 5 minus 2 is real. Um, and then negative 2i minus 3i is imaginary. So 3 minus 5i. Yeah. Final answer. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, okay. Multiply. Obviously, we want to distribute, right? So 2 times negative 2i is going to give me negative 4i. And this is where we get a little funny, okay? Because then we have to do negative 2i times negative 4i. And that's going to give me a positive number. 2 times 4 is going to give me 8. And i times i is going to give me i squared. Now, in a previous lesson, you should have learned that i squared is actually equal to what? Think about it. Remember, i is the square root of negative 1. So I, the square root of negative 1 times the square root of negative 1 is negative 1. So I'm going to replace in the, in the equation i squared with negative 1. So then I'm going to have to simplify. So 8 times negative 1 because you got to do your order of operations, multiplication first before addition. And so that's going to give me negative 4i minus 8. But we like the real to become first and the imaginary to come second. So we rearrange that. And negative 8 minus 4i is actually the answer. Yes. OK. <laughs> All right. So now we're going to go ahead and we are going to multiply. But we're going to double distribute this time. So we're not just distributing one thing. We have to distribute multiple things. So here goes. Uh, we're going to do 2 times 2, and then 2 times negative 9i. And then we're going to do neg positive 9i times 2, and positive 9i times negative 9i. So we're going to get 4 minus 18i plus 18i minus 81i squared. First of all, what's going to happen? Wait. Combine like terms and stuff to 2i squared. So like terms are in the middle. I made them orange for you. Negative 18 plus 18. What's that going to be? Nothing. So I'm going to get 4 minus 
81 and the I squared, remember we just decided I squared is what? Negative one. So I'm gonna multiply now. Negative 81 times negative one. And I'm gonna get four plus 81. Four plus 81 is 85. And look, that big old pro complicated problem turned out to be one single number. It be that way sometimes. Sometimes. Let's try that next one. We gotta distribute three times four, three times negative i, and then six times i. I mean six i times four and six i times negative i. So that is gonna give us three times four is twelve. Three times negative i is negative three i. Six i times four is positive twenty-four i. And then six i times negative i is gonna give me negative six i squared. So let's pay attention to a few things. We need to combine like terms and substitute i squared. So oranges go together. That's why I put them next. I made them both orange for you, right? And then pay attention to that i squared because remember i squared equals negative one. So it's a bunch of smart equal particle. So 12 plus 21i minus six times negative one. We're gonna multiply this negative six times negative one and we're gonna get positive six. But now, pay attention, because now that 12 and that 6 go together. 12 plus 6 is 18. Combine those like terms. Make sure it's in the proper order. Real first, imaginary second. 18 plus 21 I is my final answer. Look at you. Look at you. Sorry. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. OK, divide and rationalize. This is the harder part. We want to multiply by the conjugate. So remember, we just talked about complex conjugates, right? You want to change the sign of the imaginary part. So on the bottom of our fraction, we have our, for our denominator, we have 5i. So the conjugate is going to be negative 5i. So I want to multiply the top and the bottom by negative 5i. So on the top, 3 times negative 5i is going to give me negative 15i. 10 time, 10i times negative 5i is going to give me negative 50i squared, hint, <laughs> hint, wink, wink. And then um, on the bottom, 5i times negative 5i is going to give me negative 25i squared. Whew, that was a mouthful. So what are we going to do now? We're going to substitute the i squared. And remember, i squared equals negative 1. So I have 50 times negative 1 and then negative 25 times negative 1. When I do that, I'm going to get positive 50 on the top and positive 25 on the bottom, baby. And so is that my final answer? I think that's my final answer. It is. Yes, yes, yes. Good job. <laughs> I forgot where I was in the problem. That's it. We're done. Gucci. Ta-da! Okay, example number two. So we're going to multiply by the conjugate. Tell me what the conjugate is. It's the opposite of the bottom. Good. Did you say yes? Very good. Multiply by positive i. You only want to multiply by the conjugate of the denominator because we don't like radicals in the denominator. And remember, i is a radical negative one. Okay, so we're going to distribute that i. So we're going to get 3i on top plus 8i squared. 8i i squared and on the bottom we're going to get negative i squared okay so we're going to substitute i squared for negative one so good three i plus eight times negative one over negative because that purple negative you see why i kept it purple on purpose because i have to substitute i squared and that's what turned orange. The i squared turned negative one, but that negative was already on the outside. So now we simplify, right? So three i minus eight, because eight times negative one is negative eight. And then on the bottom, we have negative negative one, which is a positive one. Anytime I have a fraction over one, do I need that? No, my final answer is three i minus eight. Boom. Mm. 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 Okay, sorry. Doing a little victory dance. Okay, we about to get crazy, crazy. So we are going to divide and rationalize for example number three, but this is the big boy. This is the complicated one. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply by the conjugate of the denominator. So that means that we are going to multiply by 4 plus 2i. 4 plus 2i. So that means we have to do all the little double distributing that we learned a little bit earlier in the video, right? So, <laughs> so 4 times 2 is going to be 8, and then um, 4 times or 2 times 4 is going to be 8, 2 times 2i is 4i, and then 8i times 4 is 32i, and 8i times 2i is 16i squared. And then on the bottom, we have 4 times 4, which is 16, 4 times 2, which is 8i, negative 2i times 4 is negative 8i, and then, ne and then negative 2i times positive 2i is negative 4i squared. Okay, so pay attention to that. So substitute i squared. So when I substitute i squared, I need to make it into negative 1, right? So rewrite the exact same thing. Like, don't get crazy. Don't try to simplify nothing or whatever and make it negative 1. So once I do that, I need to simplify. And so what I'm going to do is um, 16 times negative 1 turns into negative 16, and then negative 4 times negative 1 turns into positive 4. So I rearrange things to combine like terms and I get negative 8 plus 36i over 20. You see how there's no longer an i in the denominator? That is always our goal. If you finish your problem and you have an i in your denominator, you did something big wrong. Okay, and we don't want to do that.